Hey, so what's up, guys? It's your boy D. Smip. So for me, I'm always looking for ways to get motivated, stay motivated, and reach my goals. So I found this video on YouTube by Damon John, right? Shark Tanks, the uh, one of the co-founders of Fubu, and he got some wise words for 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 anybody take a listen what are some of the common attributes that you see that successful people billionaires or people worth hundreds of millions what is it that they have um, they're always trying to educate themselves, constantly trying to educate themselves. They're trying to find out how could they be better or stronger at what they do. When I look at the billionaires, the funny thing about the billionaires is a lot of times they, 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 they go around and they, they write down new ways of saving money on taxes. Because if you really think about this, if you're a billionaire and you have a company that's bringing in another $400 million, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of them thinking about how to do a new company, they think, well, why am I going to pay $200 million in taxes? How can I work harder to keep that instead of creating something new so they don't spread themselves too thin? Right? Yeah. Like, why, why create something new uh -huh. to make what I can save right now that I already got? Uh -huh. Right? So they, they think that way. When I'm in the room with billionaires, uh, you know, it's funny. I, I, I think I posted this the other day. I'm in a room with dudes who have a little bit of money. They talk about how much money they spent on cars or parties. When I'm in the room with billionaires, they talk about how much money they gave away. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, because that's going to come back to them in a whole different way. Mm -hmm. I also find that they make a lot of mistakes. They don't spread themselves too thin, but they keep trying new things because what that does is it forces them to educate themselves on on, on what's going to work. Um, they have a small circuit. Yeah, they don't they don't run around with a lot of people. They know a lot of people, but they don't really mess with a lot of people. They they have a very small, tight, tight, uh, tight amount of people around them. Mm. Yeah. Those, are, those are a lot of things that I see. And they're always up super early in the morning. They're up 5 o'clock. They try to beat the sun up. Billionaires. What about family structure? Family structure, they put family first. They schedule their family first. As I, as I shared in, um, in Rise and Grind, they schedule their family first. They, you know, like, because as we get up, you know, listen, we're always scheduling everything else. We're time to be on the train. We're time to be at a meeting. We're time to be on a conference call. We're time to go to that dinner with a bunch of clients that you don't even really like to talk to anyway. Um, they schedule every single they schedule their health so they get up in the morning they schedule their doctors they schedule their family and then they go ahead and schedule the other things other people's priorities but they schedule themselves first and foremost damon john is here he got the new album visualize which is out this friday uh man yeah so he just dropped a whole bunch of knowledge man mindset mindset right one is education keep on learning keep on learning since the pandemic, right, can you guys name five things you learned since the pandemic, right? Because we was all indoors. What have you done, right? They get give money away, but once you start now, of course, you're not going to give your money away. Try new things. Try new things. Keep your circle small, tight. Get up early. Get up early. That's something I'm still trying to work on. Get up early. That, that shit is hard for me. And schedule family time first. Schedule family time first. So, guys, let me know what stood out for you. And also, what other motivational uh, interviews or leaders that's out there that I can learn from. I'm out of here. Thanks a lot.